<laughs> I love cook, guys. I, I see I'm such a hypocrite. Like, I am such a hypocrite. But a lot of people don't even like cook anyways. But I love cook and people sleep on the cherry ones. Video. Today is the 17th of June and in this video I thought I'd give you some foods that I believe that you shouldn't eat like throughout your whole clear aligner journey but I'm honest because I am an honest person I try to be and basically I'm a hypocrite so the foods that I've shown you I've most likely eaten them all okay I have eaten them all within my clear aligner journey but it is best to avoid Okay, a lot is for, you know, um, your teeth um, because most people who use clear liners are whitening their teeth. So why use, why eat something that stains your teeth? It makes no sense. It's kind of upsetting the balance. You're doing something for no reason kind of thing. Um, if you're not using whitening, then fine. But, you know, it kind of comes usually as a package deal. If I'm being honest, I've kind of slacked off on teeth whitening because in the morning before work I'm usually rushing because I stayed in bed too long because I can't get out of bed which means I have no time to whiten my teeth um, and then on the evening I tend to use up all my eating time so you know I only have like five minutes to brush my teeth mouthwash you know and um, floss and then put my teeth back in put my aligners back in so I have just like kind of not forgotten about teeth whitening, but I'll probably use it more once my plan is over because, yeah, ain't no one got time. But anyways, it's best to not eat staining foods if, um, or staining drinks if, you know, you're really religious with teeth whitening. And also, you should avoid these foods because of residue that can be left in your teeth um, that takes a while to get out or for the simple fact that your teeth is very sensitive. I do have... I do have some foods to show you, like physically, um, but not all of them I have because I'm actually moving out. Like this is the last time, the last weekend, sorry, that I am going to be in this apartment. So I haven't actually got all the foods to show you. The foods that I do show you is the foods that I'm going to be like snacking on and eating this weekend since it is my last, more or less last official weekend in this apartment so that's why i have them to show you i didn't just buy the foods for this video i ain't got money like that <laughs> um but some of the things off the top of my head that you should stay away from that i don't have with me is steak bam i went to go celebrate my four year anniversary and i went to a steak house please tell me why i went to a steak house and got a burger even when i say it out loud it's mad because i absolutely love steak so why how is it possible that I go to a steakhouse and I get a burger? But, you know, sensitive teeth, like you should stay away from meat that is quite tough or can be tough or chewy. And I get my steak well done as well. So you need to stay away from certain meats. I think when it comes to chicken, if you just cut it in smaller pieces, you'll be fine. I think fish is fine because fish generally is soft. Unless there's a fish that's quite hard. If you fried it, you know, maybe it may be a bit tough, especially with batter. But general, just fish, you know, without the batter and stuff, I think fish would be fine anyway. Um, so, yes, yeah, certain meats, yeah, definitely beef because it can be a bit prob it can be a problem for your teeth. Don't get me wrong, I've had actually steak once, um, but it was like made in my house or whatever. And it was a bit of a challenge, but I knew I wouldn't do it again until... Uh, my journey was over. It's a bit too much guys. It's a bit too much. What else should you stay away from? Um, hard things like apples. I went to a restaurant and I said yes can I have, I, mean, I went to a hotel sorry and for breakfast you know I had breakfast and then on the sides for fruit I asked them for apples. Apples? How? How am I going to bite into an apple? Like make it make sense. So anything hard anything crunchy anything that you have to give a lot of power to no especially 
in your first few days of switching your aligners. It's just not gonna happen, fam. You, the, the fruit will go moldy in front of your eyes. Like, it's too hard, so just leave it out, leave it out, okay? If I think of anything else, as I go on the video, then I will let you know. So let me start off with, now that I've got that out of the way, let me start off with the three obvious ones. I don't know if they're obvious to you, but if you're whitening your teeth, then it should be obvious. Um, the first thing, chocolate. Um, in the manual, it says stay away from, uh, I believe it's chocolate. Now, <laughs> I'm a chocoholic. That could never happen. Um, so I would say stay away from definitely Twixes because it's got the caramel, you know, in it. Stay away from chocolates that have caramel, toffee, nuts, Snickers. I had a Snicker yesterday. Stay away from Snickers because Snickers, um, because because of the nuts, right? Snickers are sneaky because the nuts can like disappear in your mouth and find and find a way to be wedged in between one of your teeth and trying to get at, trying to get it out can sometimes be almost impossible um and you know there's been times where i've just had to leave it and just wait for it to come out naturally now if you have to put your aligners back in you haven't got time for it to come out naturally what i did do yesterday when i was eating a snickers because someone bought me it guys someone bought me it they bought me a snickers jewel what was i supposed to do just not eat it I was gonna eat it. So what I did, I left it on the windowsill and waited for it to like melt and get really soft so then I could feel where all the nuts were to make sure that none of them got wedged between my tooth, but you should just avoid it. And yeah, I love a good Twix, but you should avoid Twixes. Um, but yeah, chocolate. The next thing due to teeth staining, you should also avoid um, red wine. So this is my favorite red wine, like, Ever. <laughs> it's my most favorite red wine. Um, well, just wine, period, like barefoot. My favorite, favorite. Um, it's the pink Moscato and it's the California, deliciously sweet. I love anything sweet, so if you can find me a sweet wine, we are good. And uh, this is probably the best sweet, su the best sweet wine I've ever had. I don't like general bitter wine. I don't like anything bitter, anyways. So, this is everything you should stay away from it i bought this for the weekend to uh cheers to my last weekend here but you should stay away from red wine okay cool um and the other thing you should stay away from because you don't want to stain your teeth is coffee of course now i don't know who's gonna stay away from coffee sorry i, I actually ripped off the nescafe label um i'll show you the back um i don't know who's gonna stay away from coffee um, I don't know who has that much willpower to stay away from coffee for four to six months, but um, yeah. To be fair, I only have a coffee, one coffee a day, um, but you know, we all know coffee stains. Perhaps you could try using straws. When, it, when the coffee cools down, drink it through a straw, because um, obviously if it's really hot, it could just burn your mouth, burn right to the back of your neck. But um, that's what, that's what I do. I drink my coffee with a straw. I try protecting my teeth. I don't know how much it works, but I try, I try. So there are three main things to stay away from, especially if you're whitening your teeth religiously. Okay, cool. You should also stay away from acidic, yes, acidic drinks <laughs> like Coke. <laughs> I love Coke, guys. I, I see I'm such a hypocrite. Like, I am such a hypocrite, but a lot of people don't even like Coke anyways. But I love Coke, and people sleep on the cherry one. Don't sleep on the cherry one. Um, but yeah, you really shouldn't be drinking things like Coke. You shouldn't, to be fair though, you shouldn't be drinking things like Coke, period. Like, Coke isn't good for you. Like, it is what it is. <laughs> Coke isn't good for you. Coke, original Coke, Coke cherry, Coke zero. Coke less than Coke diet, like it doesn't matter. It's all bad. It's all very, very bad. But um, at least I admit it's bad and still drink it. But yeah, you should stay away from Coke when you have these in. Okay, cool. Um, pizza. Okay, not pizza generally, but if you're, skate the right way. Not pizza generally, but if you're happy to cut off the crust and just eat the inside, then that's good because crust. Again, crust is quite hard and it's quite crunchy and it's a lot for the teeth to handle. So I'm not bothered. Um, 
I'm a bit of a crust waster anyway. Sometimes I'll eat crust depending on how I feel, but I'm not too bothered about not eating crust. So if that bothers you, like you feel like it's such a waste, then you probably best to just stay away from pizza altogether. And last but not least, my most favorite thing ever, sweets. Okay, I would say it's best to stay away from these because these leave a lot of residue on your teeth. Um, whereas I think you could get away with these. You could get away with these because these don't leave as much residue, but the others do. Like they're really sticky. Like they're my favorite ones. Like they're just so nice and they're just so sticky. But again, you know, you don't want all that residue left in your teeth when you have to put your aligners back in. Uh, by the way, I am not encouraging anyone to have any of this stuff while you're eating, while you have your aligners in. I'm only talking about when you have your aligners out. I'm talking about your full journey. You should stay away from all of this. Okay, you know. Be better you. Be better than me, okay? Um, but yeah, if I was to choose, stay away more definitely from these because these leave a lot of residue. They're very, very sticky. Um, so I don't feel like these are as bad. But yeah, you should probably stay away from them anyway. Oh, and I remember something else chewing gum. Um, so basically, I don't know, I don't know how true this theory is. But when I used to chew chewing gum, I used to need, like, when I used to chew chewing gum, my breath used to stink all the time. I know you're probably thinking, huh? But I don't get it myself. I stopped chewing chewing gum. I don't really chew chewing gum. I'm, I'm a mint person now. I just like mints. But when I used to chew chewing gum, I felt like I needed chewing gum all the time. All the time I needed chewing gum in my mouth. And it makes no sense because if you're chewing a lot of chewing gum, shouldn't your breath be fresh? Shouldn't it? It should be fresh. But no, I think chewing gum is made to make your breath stink a little later so you go back to chewing gum. I won't be surprised, but I don't know how true that theory is. All I can say from my experience of chewing chewing gum, especially like back in high school, I always needed a chuddy because, chewing gum, sorry, because um, my breath was always smelling. So in regards to that, if you're wearing clear aligners and you can only take them out for two hours a day, it's just best to stay away from chewing gum. That's one thing I'm not a hypocrite about. I do not chew chewing gum. And uh, to be fair, I wasn't a big chewing gum chewer before I had aligners in. Like I told you, I had to stop because it was just doing the most. Um, and you spend a lot of money on chewing gum if you chew a lot. Um, but yeah, so you should definitely stay away from chewing gum because there's no option to have chewing gum every every time you want it when you have aligners in. And you definitely can't chew chewing gum with them in. So yeah. Um, so yeah guys, I think from the top of my head that's everything you should stay away from. There probably are still some things that you should stay away from if you're um, on your clear aligner journey and you've noticed this foods that you need to stay away you need to stay away from, please put them in the comments section below. Before I finish, I actually went to the dentist today, like an actual dentist, and I haven't been to the dentist since way before the pandemic. I don't know if anyone else has like this problem it's not really a problem i just think it's a bit weird so i was like oh i just need to take out my clear liners real quick cool and then i sat down on the on the tape on the chair and she was like oh so do you have invisalign and i'm like hmm. i do have in my head i'm thinking i do have invisalign but i'm not with invisalign because invisalign is a company called invisalign but these are called invisaligns as well they're called clear aligners but they're also called invisalign they're invisible aligners that's what invisalign means so i was like yeah but i'm with smile direct <laughs> it's just it's awkward when people ask me do you have invisalign because i'm like are you talking about the actual aligners or are you talking about the company because i'm not with invisalign i'm with smile direct but yes i am wearing invisaligns I don't know if anyone else has this issue. I think I'm just weird. That's fine. That is fine. But let me know if you kind of have that like awkward thing like, mm, I don't know what you're talking about. So let me just make myself clear. <laughs> let me just make myself clear. Anyways, guys, we've come to the end of today's video. Um, I'm afraid this is the last clear liner video in this apartment. It's not the last clear liner video, period. 
but it's the last clear line of video in this beautiful apartment so enjoy what you see because mm -hmm, my next Invisalign video isn't going to Invisalign clear liner whatever video is not going to be in my nice bright apartment but thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next clear aligner video <laughs>